Hey, babe. Hey. What we got going on today? Finishing up the trailing arms. The guys in the truck. Get them installed today. Okay. Yeah. This one. Just get that. Oh, yeah, gotta finish that one up. This is looking real good. They're heavy. Just gonna sit in there like that. I just gotta plate these off and then put them in. That wall's pretty good though. Mm -hmm. That is solid. 250 wall, 316. Have these done today. Yeah. Come I got it boxed in. And this is ready to rock and roll. Yeah. They're 54 inches long. They should fit just nicely. The trailing arms done? Yeah, we're welding them in. Parallels the drive line. Get them down low here. They get here. Fitting them in. Look at that. Uh huh. And the hook up up there. A pivot Good point. there. Yeah, they're even. Yeah, they are. The wheelbase on this is 133 inches. From tire to tire, 103. We squared it, triangulated from the center here to that, from the center there to that axle. So make sure they're square, they're both 133 and 7 eighths. Measured off this molding pin right here to here, there to there, to make sure this is square. So that just gets this axle square with that axle. When we build the upper link, we got to measure that again, make sure it's still in the same spot, it didn't shift left or right, and then make sure from the frame on both sides, the drums are the same distance, so she's centered in when we build the upper links. And we're going to be doing that, starting that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm going to tack these in and get a long view from that side, so you can see both like far away and you can see mm -hmm. the front and the back. Alright, let's go roam around. Yeah, that looks pretty sick. Yeah, love this in. Hey, Dougie. 
There's a doggy. There's another one. She's ignoring me now. Came out really good. Another day working on the truck, but we have a little side project. We are going to take the boat out in a couple weekends and hold her out, see if she would start and all that. And no, she did start. No, nope. starter burnt up on it. Luckily, it happened here, not on the lake. The starter is about three years old, maybe four, four years old. But I've only got maybe 20 days on it. Took the boat out 20 times, maybe. A little eighty dollar starter to counterclockwise starter for the boat. And if it, that little starter right there, it's a little mini starter. Got about twenty trips out of it. So we had to buy and she was upset. We had to buy a three hundred and sixty dollar starter. And it does not look happy about that. Me and my eye twitch. <laughs> That one right there, that's from Hardin Marine, CP Performance, so hopefully that one will actually last more than 20 trips. This motor here is a 557 stroker on NOS for the jet boat. This is a Ford 460 base that we punched out to 557, stroked it, and stroking it means it has a slightly larger um, piston rod and it's bored out giant carburetor on it that's 1150 CFM brawler double pumper yeah this motor fucking screams oil bypass or oil catch system we should put this one in the truck because it'll fit no, we're not going to go that extreme with the motor. We are going to rebuild the motor in the truck. It runs right now. But that one, we're just going to do a 10 to 1 compression, like dome pistons in it, and go full roller rocker. This is full roller rocker. It has a Lunati cam with like a 640 lift, like a huge 640. Uh, stock lift on these is 410. And this one has a 640, oversized valves, full roller rocker. Yeah, this thing will, this 460 will do 7,000 RPMs, no problem. Uh, under load, she'll run about 6,500. And for a long time, without worrying that the motor's gonna tank. All right, back to the truck. Let's continue on this one. Okay, trailing arms are done. You can see the holes. They line up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Where'd it go? There it is. That's the other trailing arm across there in that hole. Yeah, plate in this, make it a little bit stronger. Plate both sides. Reinforce this with a wrap. This is 250 going to a 190. What the bushing is, so I just put some 316, wrapped it all the way around. I loaded her in. That's the pockets for the bypass and the coil. That's the back side, the other one's over there. Okay. 
There's the other one. There's the hole, you can see it. Yeah, that came out good. In this box and these in. So I got a lot of cleaning up on this axle. Do the trusses. Right, we'll get there. Come out good there? Tacked in. Yeah, that's gonna look pretty cool. Now we're gonna paint the trailing arms the same color we painted the radius arms right there. But where it says get us, we're gonna just leave that from steel color and then clear coat it. Yeah, that's gonna look pretty sick. I am happy. A lot of work. It's a lot of work, but I'm happy. That came out really good. Yep. That came out really good. She's good in there. Until next time. Bam!